So this one says, which of the equations below contains the two points? Now this is a, this is a conceptual one, but I'm going to, I'm going to sketch the graph again. I'm going to sketch this real quick. So does my graph need to be perfect? No, not at all. And I already know I don't have enough room. This is my x-axis. This is my y-axis. But I've got, I noticed that I've got negative 8 on both of those. All right? So I'm going to count by 2. So this is like negative 2. This is negative 4. This is negative 6. And this is um, negative 8. It's hard to see, but that's a negative 8. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to graph these two points. So the first point that I'm going to graph is, uh, negative eight, negative three. So I'm going to go over negative eight and then I'm going to go down one, two, three. So I'm just going to do these like the regular, you can change the scale on a graph any way you want. So that would be like negative two, negative three. So this point here is, uh, negative eight comma negative three. Um, then uh, the next point that I'm going to graph is going to be negative 8, positive 1. So I'm going to go over negative 8 and just up 1, right? So that's positive 1. That's the graph, negative 8, or the point, negative 8, positive 1. And I did change the scale. So now if I draw a line between those two points, um, I'll get something that looks like this. Now that is a vertical line. Vertical lines are x equals a number. Well, what number does it equal? Well, guess what? Negative 8, negative 8, because that's going to be the same. No matter what point I am on this line, my x value is always going to be negative 8. So y isn't it. This isn't it. So then I... It's negative 8 because that's the point that's on both, or the x value that's on both. And this isn't it because it's positive 8. And that is basically it.